for a good six to eight weeks, maybe a little bit more than that, of getting a haircut every week. I just freaking smashed these haircuts, one after another, after another, after another, and slowly but surely, my hair just got shorter and shorter and shorter without actually really realizing because they just went, I went in every single week instead of every two or three weeks, and they cut the same amount off, Without me really realizing, my fringe just kind of disappeared over time. So I'm trying to get that back. I actually had to get this trim before the barber shuts, you know? This one's gonna last me 12 weeks now. We're all going into isolation. God. The time has come. What is our haircut experience, you say? Zero. Well, I have a haircut pretty much every week, and like every guy, I have my favorite barbers. I even travel 40 miles each time so that they can actually be the ones to cut my hair. Ted's Barbers, Nottingham. Recently, I've had them every week until now, obviously. If you're watching this and it's in the future, well, it's 2020 right now, and shit is at the fan, and everything is closed. You should wash your hands, you dirty pig. I like getting my hair cut, I like the experience of it, and plus it makes you feel good, right? So I like getting a fresh haircut. I'm probably gonna get one tomorrow, but anyway, that's besides the point. So we started watching a ton of skin fade videos, and they were actually really good, really helpful, millions of views, and these haircuts actually look sick, but, they're all using clippers and razors and stuff that's worth hundreds of pounds and we're trying to emulate the same result with a 15 pound trimmer from Argos. Pardon no light there. What do you think? What starts again? I mean here's the bottom of your crown here, so that is where it's sweeping around. So if we go if we're going from that point. Yeah. As you can tell, we knew exactly what we were doing, especially because we spent the night before practicing on my arms and legs, meaning I now have one bare arm and one bare leg. FYI, practicing on your legs, on your arms, in fact anything except your actual head, complete waste of time. We figured we would keep it simple and start off with the line. I think people can overcomplicate it when actually, I get my hair cut a lot, so although we've never actually done it ourselves, I know pretty damn well, kind of just from seeing it, how to do it. Once we had the line, as we kept calling it for some reason, like it was our lord and saviour, we had a lengthy discussion about what to do next, but to be honest, our conversations always ended up resorting back to the words, yeah, and then just fade it up. So in the end, we just went for it. Clearly, there's a knack that you didn't realise to no. the person holding the mirror for you. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> a bit shorter, like there. I feel. What? Uh, on the top line? You want to go higher? Oh, like slightly higher because this is where it puffs on me, look. So, do you think go a little bit higher with the one or.? Because I probably only went up to about here and then I've just faded the two lines in. Yeah, just do. Not even that much more, but you can <coughs> you can just see where it tufts just a little bit. That's the bit that I want gone a bit more. Do you see what I mean? This little bit yeah. here. So here's here's your parting line coming around here to there. Yeah. So, so we, we want to go a bit daring, a bit more daring, a bit near that, near that height. So. I need to shave because I can't look at myself and think, oh there, that, that looks good when my face looks like this. I think it looks better if I get rid of this fluff on my face. Yeah. 
It's not bad, is it? <laughs> it could be a lot worse. I want it in a little bit shorter, though. I have the solution. I don't know how to kind of approach it. Literally just... To be honest, I think it's difficult to do it yourself. I like doing a little bit of myself. No, no, it's like a enough. daring little kid thing. <laughs> You won't cut me my own hair. See what I mean there? Do you see the difference there? Now if I turn, if I show you that little bit there, and then that there, do you see what I mean? No, what are you talking about, he says. See the thing is, I have like skin skin fade. Skin fade. Like buzz it pretty much to here and then just fade it at the top. I don't know how they do it, but they just get the razors and go for half an hour and then they're like, congratulations, here you go, cough up. But with what we have here available to us at home, we're resorting to, this is actually Charlotte. The only way we're gonna get it is with this, like get it down to the skin. Yeah, Because well. people have those, um, what's it called? The, the, um, well, the electric razors. Yeah, yeah the ones the, that go in the round in circles, like. So where we started from. Yeah. Yeah. Or is that too high, do you think? Well, we could go a bit lower. And that yeah, is a bit of a good thing. Okay, skin me. I was so worried. Hey mum, what do you think? It's really not bad, is it? Yeah, it's good. You've still got hair on that. Happy with that. That'll be 20 quid, thanks. <laughs> you got a Facebook page, I'll give you a review on TripAdvisor. Should I go and put some stuff in my hair and see what it proper looks like? Yeah. You try and look sexy. What? <laughs> See the mistake people make with product there. What's that? Is they use too much. Less is more when it comes to things like this. That's what I say about my hair. <laughs> Boom! Ta-da! Ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Does it look good? It looks good. I'm quite proud of that. You want to do it again in a week when I'm sick of how it looks? A week? <laughs> yeah. I've been going for weekly trims for the last, like, four or five months mm. until this shit hit the fan. True. Well, if I get the job, if I pass the uh, exam, I'll probably give you one TripAdvisor out of out of five stars. Four. Really? Yeah, well, you're missing the bells and whistles, aren't you? Like, no, no, I'm I'm happy with four. There was I'm no happy. free drink. <laughs> there was no. You kind of monster. You know that? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Well. Might reconsider after my second visit. Oh. That'll do. Your turn. <laughs> so, uh, what can I do for you today, sir? Uh, just a bit off the top. Just please. a bit off the top. Just yeah. this bit here. So yeah. Fade it down ever so slightly down through here. I think that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Reverse fade. Yeah. 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 I think that'll, that'll do you quite nicely. That. Yeah. 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 Okay.
And there we are, sir. Right, well, that is that, people. You can be the judge. I like it. I mean, I, th I actually think it went really, really well. It could have gone a hell of a lot worse. I've genuinely seen people walking around town, out of the barbershop, with worse trims than this, having paid 20 quid plus for it, right? This was free with a £15 trimmer from Argos. Thank you to the old man. And of course, you know, I didn't charge him for his either because, you know, it was a difficult job, but I think we got it done. Definitely one good thing to come out of this is, you know, at the start of the video, I was saying, oh, I like my fringe back. Well, by the time that the barber's open again in six months, my fringe will definitely have grown back because we are not, I repeat, we are not touching that because it's so easy to get it wrong. My hair is like really thick and actually quite difficult to cut. This is why I was so worried about doing it in the first place because it's so easy to get wrong. It's difficult hair to cut. So I think we I think we're done good. I think we've come off okay. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, drop a comment, let the old man know just how good of a barber he is so that he doesn't mind doing it again in a week's time when I get a little bit bored of how long my hair is getting. Very happy with how this went, and I'm really happy with how this video turned out. It was really good fun to make, and it was even more fun to edit, and that is one of the reasons why I like making videos. Well, it's the reason I started. I love making memories, and this, <laughs> I will not forget this anytime soon. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As per usual, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today. Lads, let me know in the comments, have you resorted to the at-home skin fade yet, or are you embracing the growth? throughout this time. Regardless of whatever you're doing, I hope you are well and I hope you are safe. And again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.